Alright guys, so today I'm going to be announcing something really cool. This is going to be the biggest deck giveaway I've ever had on this channel. So, I don't know if a lot of you guys noticed this, but the mat I have right now is really clean. There's not a single stain or speck on it. Um, and so what I figured I'm going to do is I'm going to host a deck giveaway where I'm actually giving away the old mat that I used to use on this channel. So it'll come just as it was shown on every other previous video, but... As you guys can see, it kind of got a little bit messy, and I can't, I don't really want this in all my videos anymore, so I'm going to be hosting a deck giveaway. All you have to do is become a Patreon supporter. You guys can donate the minimum number, or the minimum value, and you will automatically be entered for a chance to win uh, not only this mat, but also this black deck of Monarch cards. So, all you guys have to do, become a Patreon member, and that's about it, and I'll pick from one of you guys, and that's going to be the deck giveaway. So, best of luck, and anyways, guys... Uh, here is the trick. Alright guys, so here's how you're going to start off the trick. Um, you could have a borrowed deck. You could have the spectator go ahead and shuffle the deck any way they like. So that way you guys know it's a completely impromptu card trick. And as soon as you start this off, you go ahead, you tell the spectator, look. So there's a whole bunch of choices uh, from this random deck. And what I'm going to do here is make a few random predictions. So I'm going to go ahead take the deck this way you guys can't see it right now I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a few random cards actually just two so I'm going through the deck and let's say we have one card here and then a second card here as well so here are my two predictions okay now you can tell them that you could go ahead and shuffle up the deck again if you want and you're gonna have them pick two cards themselves so here are the two cards that I picked and then let's say the spectator can pick any card by saying stop. So let's go ahead, go to the deck. The spectator says stop right here. It could be any card. Now it's going to go here, but the first one, we go ahead and let's say we do this one more time. So we go ahead, the spectator says stop here, or they could say keep going. Let's say they want to stop exactly at this point. And as you guys can see, uh, these are my two predictions on the bottom. So my first prediction right here is the Nine of Diamonds, and my second was the 10 of clubs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the card you picked from a completely shuffled deck. As you guys can see there, the soulmates to each card. So this is a trick. I hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, so uh, my favorite part about this trick is that it is impromptu, so you could use any deck. Um, let's say like a borrowed deck, the spectator could shuffle it up as well. It really does not matter. So let's say the spectator already shuffled up the deck. The way you start this off is, you know, the spectator mixes up the deck and you give the deck, they give the deck back to you and you kind of just misdirect them and say, you know what? So look, all these cards are completely shuffled up um, and I'm going to have you choose a couple. So as you're saying that, what you're doing is spreading until you can see the top two cards. So now we've seen the top two cards. We have the, uh, you want to remember the red two and the black ace. So in this case, the ace of spades is easy to remember. So now we know red two, ace of spades, you close that up and now you're also going to remember the order. So it's red two, Ace of Spades. So you say, okay, um, before you pick a few cards, I'm going to make a prediction myself. So you take the deck. The spectator is not going to see the prediction you're making. So we're looking for the Red 2 and the Ace of Spades in that order. So now we have the Soulmate to the Ace of Spades. You pluck that out. And that's going to be your first prediction. You keep spreading until you find that second Red 2. In this case, it's here. And luckily, we are actually in the same order as the top of the cards. So as you guys can see, it's Red 2, Black Ace, we square that up, and you want to make sure you put them down in that order. So we take the cards out. The spectator cannot see them. We have the red two and the black ace, and these go face down right here. All right, so at this point, you're actually uh, ready to go. So the two selections are here, and the two forced cards are going to be up here. So the first thing you want to do is learn the slip force, and I'll leave the link on the screen so you guys can see that. And all you're doing here is forcing the top card. And you're telling the spectator, okay, so now I'm going to have you pick a few random cards. So go ahead, tell me when to stop. Now, if you guys watch the tutorial, you guys will see anywhere they say stop. It's going to be the card you need it to be. The top card comes off. You put that. That is going to be the first card, the two. This is going to be the soulmate. So that's why it's um, important to make sure you lay down the first two cards in the direct order or else, you know, these soulmates aren't going to match up. So same thing. You can tell the spectator say stop anywhere they like. And you want to make sure that they know that they have um, you know, all the power in choosing their card. Because a lot of times when you're spreading the cards, the spectator is going to feel they have um, you know, just more influence on their own choice. So the whole thing here is make sure that they know that you know, wherever they say stop is actually where you're taking the cards. So let's say uh, you spread the cards and you say, you know what, you want me to go a little bit further? And you can tell them to spread the cards a little bit more. This way they feel they have more control over what you're doing. So 
They can see you're clearly taking the cards from here. You slide out the top card. You leave that on top of the deck. And then from here, what you do can, uh, to build suspense is you say, okay, so to start off the trick, I happen to choose or, you know, predict the two the diamonds here. And you go ahead, you flip your card over, and here's the ace of clubs. So at this point, you say, you know what, from a shuffle deck, uh, you picked any two cards, and they just so happen to match my prediction, as you guys can see. And you flip over the cards, and then this is pretty much a trick. So uh, I hope you guys like it. Make sure to participate in the deck giveaway if you guys are interested in winning my old mat here and also this deck of cards. So uh, anyways, guys, hope the trick works out for you. And as always, thanks for watching.